Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome back to another Let's Play of um, Space Engineers. And um, I finally got the rover back. I got this, um, our lander back in position from where it was flipped over. And that moon is completely full. Wow, that's awesome. Anyways, um, I need to unload this, throw it in the refinery, and then start building our um, station. Our, um charging station for the rover and our eventual atmospheric um, ship that we'll be building soon. So I think I can just throw this in here and it'll grab it. Right? Okay, yeah. I was going to say, don't make a lie around me. Alright, and I guess while I'm in the process of this, I will be right back once I throw all of this into the refinery. Okay, so I went ahead and I got everything thrown into the refinery. All the iron's already done. The nickel's going to probably take a while because it's harder to refine than iron. So let's go ahead and put that back in our other cargo hold. And I did notice something while um, I was unloading. For some reason, the um, cargo area has not consumed any of the bottles. And it's moving on me. Interesting, that was random. Come on, don't, don't be dumb. Just... Come on, you were doing so good while I was like explaining things. Just park right there and stop moving. But so I wonder if that means that um, actual like cargo containers, or not cargo containers, but cockpits don't consume oxygen while they're in the atmosphere. They might have just made it to where it just disables that. Which, I mean, to me, that's good because that was one of my main complaints is the fact that I had to remember to put oxygen in a cockpit even though I was in an atmospheric uh, planet. So that's cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and remove those back to where they were. Since it seems like they don't need them. And then we'll start construction of our charging area. And this will be for rovers and atmospheric, um, um, atmospheric ships that we will build later on in the future. And this will all be before we actually build our base. So I guess for now, yeah, we'll throw these back in the oxygen generator so we know where they are. Let's see, we got 50 nickel. It's not too bad. We won't, I'm just gonna let that go because the reason why I want to build the charging station first, well, one, it makes sense to build a charging station before you actually build the actual um, atmospheric cluster, and two, um, it's we're gonna require a lot of nickels to make a, a lot of nickel to require, or to, god dang, I can't talk, to build a big um, atmospheric ship. Which is just be a big cargo ship that will just load up whenever we go and get our iron and whatnot. So I think right here would be pretty good. And our sun's finally going down. Which makes me sad. Maybe we can build this quickly and we can charge it up a little bit. <clears throat> before our sun goes completely down. Um, let's see. Obviously we want it green because green is like my favorite color of all time. Uh, I mean, we need steel plate to actually start building this. And pretty much this is just going to be a tower to just go straight up. It's going to be simple. And there'll be areas where you can drive the rover into. And all that fun jazz. So we need steel plates. I don't know. I'll take 50. 50 sounds like a good number to me. Let's go over here. Looks like he's going to keep it even with the planet. That's cool. Um, I mean, we can't just do this to help keep it even with us. Is there like a quick button? Let's see, T. Uh, I guess there isn't. I know there's a size button. But that's not what we want. That looks e eh, I'm scared that looks even to me. So let's just put it right here. I guess we have to... Yeah, that's upside down. Do this. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. may have to do something like this because this needs to be closer to the ground in order for uh actually hang on let me see 
Let me see how close these need to be in order to get this going. Ah, so it doesn't need to be near as close as I thought it had to be. It li looks like that that one right there might actually work. Cool. So let me go ahead and do that. That right there is where the solar panels are going to go. And then we're going to have like a little bit below it, like a big bun a big battery pack that will be charging when nothing else is going on. And then we'll have this right here. Be like a four-way thing. I might just have it where like we just go down this way for rovers. Okay, so if this right here is going to be for rovers, and then maybe this right here will be for um, atmospheric thrusters, or atmospheric chips, which means this one will be for batteries, which means that one right there is going to be for solar panels, and I better get on the ground before I lose all my hydrogen. That's going to be kind of a tall tower, but it's going to be cool once I'll... Once this gets built, it'll be amazing. Okay. Um, that's not the button I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's grab more steel plates. Um, let's grab maybe 59 more, so we have 100. Okay. I don't think that's enough to actually finish this, but let me go ahead and get this built, and I'll be right back. Okay, our tower is built. Alright, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to build a connector down here at the bottom just for testing purposes just to make sure this works. So let's put this right here. Okay, so rotating it's not going to make a difference. Um, let's see if this works. I think it should. Everything works out right. Okay, we need a lot more steel plates, and we need a lot more construction components. I believe I can make all this. Let me go see. I should have the, like, 100 steel plates that are available. That moon is... I actually don't think that's the moon. I think that's supposed to be Mars. Or that might be our moon. I don't know. It's very bright. I like it. I like being in the Arctic. It's cool. No pun intended. Okay, so give me the motors. Give me, um, I don't know, 150 of these. Ah, crap, I hit the wrong button. 150. Thank you. And then what else do we need? Construction components. Um, which it doesn't look like we have, so I guess we might as well put those in queue. They'll take a while to build, because I, I set all the speeds back down to normal, because eventually I'm going to use modules. Uh, hey cool, the AC's kicking off. Yay, no background noise for you guys. Where the heck are the construction components? Okay, where the heck are these things? That's weird. Detector, grinder... What? Where... Are... You... Oh! Duh, there they are, at the very top. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Let's build about 17 of those. 18, whatever. I forget how many I need. And then... Um, we'll go ahead and throw this stuff that we already have in while we're waiting for those. And my goal for this episode is to get this charging station up and running and then start on the, um... On the, um... <sighs> man, I can't think at all right now to start on the um, atmospheric um, cargo ship. Oh, I need 40, not 17. Wow, I'm doing horrible right now. So let's grab the computers, grab, and then we need to make everything else. So I guess I'll put it all in queue. It's going to take a while to make, so I'll be back once all those components are made. Okay, everything is built, and I think they sped up the amount of time um, construction components or they sped up the speed that constructing components get done because those got done a lot faster than I'm used to. Um, but I believe I should have everything to finish this off. Yep. Cool. Alright, now let's test this thing. Let's back up the recon into it. If we can dock it, then we're good to go. 
can't dock it, well, we'll have issues. I have to um, play with. Right, so let's go ahead and do this because I don't have a backup camera yet. Oh crap, crap. Eh, eh, crap, you're totally going the wrong way. Thank you. No, what are you doing? Rover. There you go. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit too high. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, my rover doesn't want to stop moving. Okay, I'm gonna put you back over here where you were. A little bit. Yeah, just go ahead and run into it. I don't care. Hmm. I'm gonna try and build it on the other side, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I built the connector on the back of the uh, charging station, and let's see if that works now. Hopefully it does. Sorry, Mr. Recon. I didn't mean to make you run into the um, thing, but you kept moving, so I had to do it. Alright, so... Ooh, it, 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 might, it might actually work. Now I just gotta think backwards back this baby up. Oh, come on. There we go. And I think on the future I might put a beacon on this thing so I know where it is. Whoops. Oh wait, don't you have to be powered? God dang it, I probably forgot about that. Yeah, I think it has to be powered. Oop, come on. I can't think backwards. Come on. It looks like it's connected. I think, oh, well, we are connected right now. But it doesn't have any power, so I can't see anything. But it's working, so next thing now we have to do is um, build the solar panels, build the batteries, and then yeah, we'll be good to go. So let me see. Let's build you right here. And then, let's see. We make this fancy. Ooh, let me go get some hydrogen. Hang on, I need to think. I'll be right back. Hey, I thought I had you paused. All right, we got the two solar panels built. Now the next thing we need to do is to get the rest of the steel blocks built, which I grabbed a bunch of steel or, or steel plates to get that going. Shouldn't take long at all. Okay, let's go ahead and get on this so we don't waste any more hydrogen. Get these built, get a couple batteries built, um, and then we should be pretty much good to go. And the charging station will be functional. And then I think the other thing we need to do is just make an input for the, um, for the atmospheric um, flyers. so that they can dock and uh, get charged because obviously they're not going to be on the ground where the rover is. And they're going to be up in the air. Alright, cool. So that's done. Um, it looks like we are actually still charging a little bit. I'm not sure how. The sun's behind the mountains, but it must be like a small, minuscule amount. Um, so now we need batteries, which are this one. One there, one there for now. Two will be plenty. 
Okay, we need a crap ton of steel plates, some construction components, power cells, all that fun jazz. Alright, so let me go grab that stuff, get these things built, and then I'll come back to show you how it looks. Okay, guys. Well, unfortunately, I kind of have some bad news. I ran out of materials on building the second battery. But I did get one battery built. <laughs> and the problem is we ran out of power cells, which... Um, in order to make more of those, we have two of the three um, resources we need to actually get that stuff built. I'll show you real quick. We go to production. Uh, where the heck are they? Batteries, batteries. Where's my power cells? There you are. So we have nickel, nickel and iron because we just went out and mined those, but we need silicon now. Which is, isn't that difficult. We have an area marked for it. I just have to make a tunnel and get that built. So unfortunately we're not going to be able to get that second battery built, and even more unfortunate, the um, um, atmospheric ship I wanted to make will have to have batteries because we're not running it on nuclear power, we're running it off the battery power. So either way we have to go get some silicon before I can finish that one. But we did get one battery built so this should work fine. Let's go ahead and dock this baby up because we can build the atmospheric thruster, I just can't build the batteries for it. Um, or atmospheric thingy. Yay, we are connected. And now, what we have to do is our battery, batteries, I forgot this uses two, set them to recharge. And then it'll drain the battery of these guys. And then what they'll do is they'll just charge these babies up. They'll be fully recharged in 11 minutes. <laughs> but these, this battery will be fully depleted in 6 minutes, so it's not going to matter. And then for the time being, I guess we can turn our beacon off. Because at the moment the solar panel is ma making a slight amount of power, but the sun's going down. So it's it's not going to be making too much more power. But now it'll slowly start charging this baby up. And then once we uh, build the area for the atmospheric thruster, it'll be the same thing. You just hook it up to it and power it up and then tell the batteries to recharge. See, we're still one of four. But for now, that's what we're going to have to do. So now that that baby is mostly operational, it's still doing its job. Our little, um, what do you call it, charging station. Now it's time to build the atmospheric ship. So I have to go over here and make some resources for it. And then, like I said, we'll probably get all the way up to the point to where, um... Or should I just save that for tomorrow? Because, yeah, it, it's going to take a while to get the atmospheric ship going. Because I'm going to make it bigger and more complicated than the, um, rover. And that, that's going to take a good chunk of time. It'll probably be the entire episode of the next episode, building the atmospheric um, ship. And there goes Daisy again. <laughs> Anyways... Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to save that for next time. So this is a little bit shorter episode than I wanted it to be. I'm kind of trying to stay around 25 minutes, but there's nothing I really can do. What I want to do next, I need probably the entire episode to do. So, yeah. But for now, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Sun's going down, finally. And nighttime's going to start coming. I don't, ooh, we can start seeing the stars already. Nice. I'm not sure how long the night time's gonna last since this is up in the Arctic. It's probably just gonna last a couple hours and come back up. Who knows? But anyways, until next time, this is Captain Soban signing out. <laughs>